Ever since 1.20 came out, I've wanted to make a pottery museum. And now 1.21 is almost out, so we should probably get on that. I'm not sure how difficult this will be, but I was hoping to collect every type of shirt. So let's start by going to our storage and seeing which ones we already have. We kept them upstairs somewhere. Ah, oh, here we go. I think there's 11 unique ones here, which is quite a few. Okay, let's just look up how many more we need. A few moments later. And it turns out we still need nine more. I've compiled this little list, so we've highlighted the ones that we have, and then the rest of them we still need to get. So why don't we start by trying to collect all of those, and then we can build our museum. We're probably going to need a lot of brushes for this. How do you make them again? I know it's copper. Well, let's smelt some more of that up. And then is it... Oh, it's a feather and a stick. Feather and sticks. Oh, they each take up a slot. Okay, we'll bring them in a shulker box. And I think that's about it. Let's go brushy brushy. There are four main areas we need to visit. One is the desert, then there's warm ocean, cold ocean, and trail ruins. But we're going to start with the desert. We're looking for two different structures, which are the desert well and the desert temple. According to our little list, we can get the arms and brewer from a desert well, and we can get the prize and skull from a desert temple. And here we are in the nearest desert. I don't know if this one will be any help at all because we've already kind of looked through it. I probably haven't tried looking at wells to be fair, so we can give that a go. Oh, there's the temple that we've definitely been in. I guess we could still see if we missed any suspicious sand. Oh, I remember coming here actually. Yeah, I don't think... I think we cleared this all out. It's okay, we'll keep looking around. I then flew around and found a new village and then we found our first well. They're actually rarer than I thought, at least when I'm looking for them, they seem to all disappear. Okay, that is definitely suspicious sand, so we have a chance at getting a pottery shed that we don't have yet. And from this, we're after arms up or brewer. So let's see. Oh, it looks like it could be one. It's hard to tell from this angle. Oh, it is. Is it one of the ones we need? Arms up. Okay, first try. That felt really lucky. I don't know if these have more than one sus sand in them. This is not. Oh, there is down there. This one. Oh, it's this one too. Are we that lucky? It is. Wait, what? Oh, it was a brick. That is so deceitful because it's the same colour. This isn't sus, is it? No, it's not. I don't think there's any more. No. I am calling that a success though. Eight shirts to go. Let's keep looking around. Okay, I was about to say that we've fully searched the specific desert, but then I saw in this final corner, we have a desert temple kind of hidden in there. It's almost in the jungle, but let's check that out. I hear mobs in there. I think it's just a skelly, hopefully no creepers. Oh yes, I see feet. Little skeleton footsies. I feel like I always find creepers in these, but maybe we're lucky this time. We might as well check out the bottom part first, even though I don't think you get sherds in them. We've got some iron and string. And uh, silk touch. We do have a villager for that. To get the shirts though, we want this strip of sand. So none of these are sus, but if we break them, hopefully we'll find something. Where is the sand? Oh, here's one. Oh, is it a diamond? Oh, it's not a shirt, but that's a pretty good one. I will take that. We got another one. It's a gunpowder. Good for rockets, but not so much for pottery museums. We got redstone. Oh no, it's a ruby. Oh, it's a shirt. What's it going to be? Oh, it's prize. We don't have that one yet. Now we have two out of nine. Doing good. And it's another prize. Okay. Oh. I right clicked instead of left clicking. Okay, well, we were bound to break one at some point. So that's our first broken sand. And that's this room cleared. So we got one that we need, which is pretty good. But now I think I just need to try a whole nother desert. I know there's one somewhere kind of south. So we'll give that a go. In the next desert, we immediately found two wells and also this buried portal. The first well gave us two duplicate arms up shirts. Then we tried the second well, and 
Oh my gosh, it's the Brewer Shed. That means that we're officially done with desert wells. We just have one more to get from a temple and then we're done with deserts. I'll save you from the pain of what was next, which was looking through three desert temples with no luck and a lot of duplicates. But eventually we found what we're after. Oh, I think this is it. The skull pottery shard, yes. This is evading us hard and I am so sick of being in the desert. Imagine if this was one too, after all of that. But it's just a ruby. And we are done with the desert, thank goodness. Lucky for us, I think we're already at an ocean, which will help us with the next ones. We need the shelter pottery shed from the warm ocean and then a few from the cold ocean. And I'm assuming this will be warm ocean. Unless it's just a giant river. Is it just a giant river? Oh, I think it is. It's okay though, we'll go find actual ocean. And we found a cold ocean and we found our first ocean ruins to have a look in. I'm actually a little bit scared. I just made a shield because it's one of those triple ruins. And it looks like there's a lot of drown down there and there might be a trident guy. So we kind of have to get rid of these guys in order to search the ruins in peace. Oh, there's so many. Oh, there's definitely a trident somewhere. Where is that coming from? There we go. We didn't get his trident, did we? We never seem to get them, no. And here's our first sus gravel. That's going to give us a wooden hoe. Lovely. Is this one? No. Well, that was very unsuccessful. All we have is a bunch of a random junk, like rotten flesh. We'll keep boating around though and find some more. Next, we visited a couple more ruins and got a lot more junk before getting the mourner into plenty shirts. So with these two, that means we have, I think, a six out of nine. Although I was taking a look at our little list and the last one we need from a cold ocean is Blade. And I could have sworn we have that on a pot at home. So we might want to go home and check that. We're right in front of one more cold ocean ruins right now. So we might as well check this one. But if we don't find it here, we can move on to the warm ocean. Oh, there's one right in front of us. And it's a ruby. Another wooden hoe. Oh, it's a shirt. Is that the one we want? I don't think it is. I think it's one we already have. Okay, let's leave that mess and we'll assume that we have Blade at home and let's go find the shelter shirt. We are currently in a cold ocean, so it might actually do us best to fly until we find a warm ocean. But we've definitely found warm ocean now because over there is a coral reef, which I assume is always in warm ocean, but also we found it the cutest village ever. Look at this, if you were using this seed, this would be such a cute place to set up when you first start out. It's a little self-contained island. And we've found a little warm ocean ruins. Oh, here's some sus sand. And it's already assured. Wait, this couldn't be it, could it? Oh my gosh, it is our first one. Like first try. That is very lucky. That means we have seven out of nine pieces. And if we go home and check for the blade one, we'll have eight out of nine. So we are going to do that right now, especially since our inventory is so full. It'll be nice to have a little trip home. Okay, so if my memory serves me correctly, we got the blade shed in our very first episode and we put it on a pot so it's likely to be around our starter house. Oh, this is it. Easy. Okay, so we have this one. Oh, wait. How do we... Hold on. Do we have to use a tool? Yes. And then it gives us all the pieces back. Uh, we can also recreate that pot. We'll just use some of our duplicates. So maybe we go minor and arms up. There. That one is so cute. I love how happy it looks. Now we just have one more shirt left to collect. And funnily enough, it's actually my favorite. 
Out of every shirt, we're somehow missing the one I wanted the most, and that is the heart. It's found in the trail ruins, but I think if we still have a little building break, and we'll make our museum, I kind of want to expand this area over here. It's definitely going to pale in comparison with our big palace here, but that's okay. So maybe if we take down some of these trees. Oh, why did I expect that to all come down in one hit? I'm too used to playing a bit of Minecraft. I love that feature though, where you hit one log and the whole tree comes down. It is the best. So now we've planned to have a section of path coming down here and then we'll have our museum over here. And we've got all the supplies ready, so let's start planning it out. I want to do a little platform here. And this will be kind of out the front of the building, in the middle. And we'll probably fill it in with some nice details later on, but for now it can be straight polished diorite. And then we'll go along here for the sides of the building. I think this will be a good size for all of the pots. But let's go along here and add in where we'll have pillars and windows. And we'll strip all of these. So I'm picturing three wide windows aligning most of this. And this doesn't look like much yet, but I think we'll jump straight into building. I want this middle part to kind of have an A-frame roof, and then the side bits to be mostly flat. So let's get building that. And here is our very pink little museum. I've also been working on all the paths and little plants and lampposts leading up to it. I definitely needed stuff around it, it was looking a little bit bare otherwise. And in future I think we'll have a building over here as well and a path going over this way. Because in this direction you can kind of see in the distance we've got our sniffer sanctuary. But when we go up to our cute little museum we have a sign to say what it is. And then when we come in we have this unfinished floor. And it's very light and bright in here thanks to all the windows and some of the ceiling is made of windows too. I feel like that's a very museum-y thing. But in order to finish this I want to try find the last shed and also a bunch of clay. Since we need clay for bricks to make 20 pots. What's 20 times 3? 60. We need 60 bricks. There is one trail ruins I visited before and didn't excavate. I think it was on the way to our woodland mansion. So we're going to get ready and fly over there. And fingers crossed that trail ruins will have the heart pottery shed for us. We made it nestled into this hill here. Okay, these take ages to dig out. So let's start digging and brushing. I really hope we find the heart here. We finally did it! We got the heart shirt! We got every single other type that we could have possibly gotten from here first. And we nearly had to dig out this whole thing. I made such a mess of it. I was definitely beginning to think that we weren't going to get it here. But we did. But while we're here, I was thinking of grabbing these mud bricks. Just in case we want to use them for the floor of our museum. I'm not sure if we do. But there's no harm. Then once we've got a bit of this, all we need is to go find some clay for bricks. Okay, let's find the exit and get out of here. Where is the exit? Oh, here we go. I made it hard for us to find. Oh gosh. Oh, no. We'll grab our clay. Our shovel's about to break, so we won't overdo it. And we are home. We have all 20 pottery shards, nine of which we got today and 11 which we already had. So we are definitely ready to finish our museum. I've already made a start on finishing the floor. So we did end up using the mud bricks. And then I traded with my stonemason villagers to get more of these quartz pillars and we're going to use them as plinths. So each one of these will have a pot on it, like a piece of art in a gallery. 
But our next step is just to make every single one of the pots, which takes up a lot of room. So here's all the shards. Let's start with a few of these. Then I want to use signs and next to each one put what it is and where I got it from. So example, this one is the heart shirt and we got it in the trail ruins. And this one is the prize shirt from the desert temple. Now all that's left to do is decorate the rest of the room so I'm gonna do that now. And ta-da! Yeah, we have a let's have a little look around so from the front when we enter the pottery museum we've got these two different sides with all 20 pots each one is labeled with what it is and where we got it from and as a little bonus the museum includes other artifacts from along our journey so we found things like this music disc and this candle in the trail ruins and also these candles and these pots but look at our collection, we've got the wolf, we've got the sniffer, the chest, the tree. I like this one, although I don't really get what it is. It looks kind of alien to me. We've got the brewer, and of course all the ones along this side of the room as well. The creeper is really cute. And some more artifacts we found, like this armor trim. But that is it today for our little pop museum, at least until the update comes out. I don't know if there's actually going to be more shirts. But if there are, we'll definitely have to find a spot to add them in. But that will be all for today, so thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!